in this video is a replay in the Bulwark, which is a mercenary tier 5 heavy tank. Um, there was a suggestion um, on Discord, I think it was, where someone had loaded this up with all the uh, reload perks, uh, food, and got the, um, the reload down to ridiculous uh, levels. So I decided to give it a go as well myself. Um, so yeah, we're on we're on Vineyards, which is a really nice map. It, I think it is kind of my favourite map. I would say there's always somewhere you can go in any tank that that you're playing. It works on Cold War as well, just about. Um, yeah, it's a really nice map. So we're going towards sort of um, K4 area, K5 area, where I like to go try and spot tanks up. Um, just to try and get some assistance. We've got some camping heavies and mediums behind me, so I'm hoping I can just start spotting tanks up, so at least I get the uh, the assistance, because the problem with this gun is it's not the highest damage gun, and um, a lot in this area is kind of like uh, peekaboo type of um, gameplay, so you've only got really time to put one shot, maybe two shots with a fast reload like this. Um, so I could be out DPNs by um, sort of a hard hitting gun, but we've got the Stug 33B up there. Allies are starting to put shots in, so just being a great shot. Allies shot it down, which is nice. So just pushing up here to see if I can see anything. I can't, unfortunately. Artillery takes a, a takes a it takes it out in one shot there. Um, not too sure I actually got any assistance for that. Um, unfortunately, I think that 350 was on the Stug 33B, so yeah, not too sure about that. But now, I decided to push around. I think with those two tanks eliminated already, um, yep, yeah, sure enough, there's no one else around here. So, just going forward, I do want to use these houses as a bit of cover as if I get spotted or targeted like that, I've got somewhere to go. Got this Jagdpanzer 4. Just aiming for the lower hole because the penetration is not brilliant either. Um, as you can see, I'm having to load this, the uh, the premium with my 1.4 second reload. I'm not too sure if these two have platooned up. I don't think they were. Not too sure why that Stug 33B went in front of the Jagdpanzer 4 to try and save it. I'm not too sure why. Um, but yeah, so um, just going to carry on marching forwards. Got the artillery, snap a shot on. Um, don't hit the shot. Bounce, unfortunately, off the uh, the hummel there. Um, so yeah, the uh, the penetration is quite bad. But the reload, it's um, this is just a little bit crazy, really, to be honest. As you can see, just putting shot after shot into this Churchill one. Um, it doesn't do too much damage, as I said, but. Yeah, it's it's like a um, an auto loader without any sort of long reload. It's just one long big hundred and something odd clip. But now we've got this this uh, Hummel. I've I've feigned to go down and round, um, so hopefully it's pre-aiming down there. Getting some nice shots into the uh, the other artillery, and I shuts it down. So um, yeah, just with that push, we're up uh, eleven five. And yeah, just uh, going to try and do a mop up really now. Um, we've got map control. They haven't been able to dislodge our TDs at D8, uh, but they have won the northern flank. So we do need to kind of act quite fast to dislodge their campers at D3. Uh, make sure they can't get a, a second angle on our TDs at the back. But as you can see, we just put the shots in so fast. Um, Lots of ammo as well, so there's no real concern about running out of ammo either. Um, it's a it's a fun tank. It is, a, as I said, it is a mercenary tank. You can't buy this one. You have to do the, the contract. No idea when they'll do the contracts again. Um, yeah, so that's the, unfortunately that's what happened with 6.0. But um, they're heading towards our base. There's only three of them. Um, I feel like that medium is going to go down and it does. Um, so do you want to go over there quite quick? Don't really want to go over there and then cap out before we're able to get there, but 
as you can see this is just a little bit silly now so yeah just um, 1400 damage at the moment 1000 assisted um, not too bad for a gun that does 50 or 60 damage so um, yeah you can really get the shots out with this I think my crew's got the rapid loading skill um, I think I've got the rammer or the advanced loader um, whatever it's called I think I might have vents as well I've got the food as well or the enhanced rations um, so yeah I've got it down to, to 1.4 Loading premium because I don't think I'll be able to go through the T150. It's the last tank. It seems to just be running into the uh, into the corner, unfortunately. But um, looks like the Allies are just going to swarm it. Artillery is taking a big shot out of it, and it gets uh, shut down. So yeah, that's the the Bulwark. It's definitely worth going for if it, if a contract comes out, especially if you're quite new to the game. Um, it's just that that gun. You you do need to doesn't have very good penetration, doesn't have very good damage, but you can get the shots out. So as long as you can aim for the weak spawn points, um, get around tanks as well, ideally, uh, you should be able to have good games in it. So yeah, first class in that one, and yeah, MVP.